Well, good morning, everyone. It's Michelle from Michelle's Ink at Stamp It, and this is going to be part three of our um, Fairy Day book uh, flip flop journal. And uh, so let's get started. So I've got my papers. Um, so I think I am going to cover this up, make this a pocket. So I'll show you what I'm going to do there. Uh, this is the first page, and I think we're going to have a pocket here instead of um, an opening. So I'll close this up. Uh, I, I went ahead and cut just a hair off of this part to make it straight. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. And then this is, I'm going to try to keep this more in frame this time because I kind of got off to the side. I was working over here the whole time, I think, in the last one. So um, we got this all covered. I still have to cover that part, but we'll do that. Um, I put this on. So let me fold that back up so you can see what it does here. And then I covered this with just a solid sheet of um, one of Sherry's uh, papers from the Fairy Day book. So, okay, that, that's all I've done. So we're back at the front there. So let's get started. Um, let me show you the pocket first. So what I'm going to do is just run glue here and here, and I will use um, art glitter glue for that. I did put a thing over my bracelet. I think it was way too loud. Um, I have this bow on there to put the pin in so that I could uh, find this. Let me move this down so you can see. And I'm just going to run this right along the edge. Hopefully, I can't see that. And then this one, I'm going to run along the edge here. Okay. I'm just going to close that up. Put my pin back in for now. Get my bone folder out. Oh, I was going to do my um, <laughs> pocket thing before I did that. That's why I got this out. But I'll just slip this in. Um, on most of the punches, it has a center part here. So I'm not going to be able to see the other side, but we'll just hope. Uh, most people use a round. I like an oval. There we go. So just gives me a bigger, less, I don't know, sharp edged, I guess. Um, so that's what I do for my pockets. Let me get this back out of the way. I'm trying to keep as much room as possible to work in. <laughs> it gets challenging sometimes because your camera, you know, you just have a certain little area to work in. Okay, so now just back over here because we're putting our tools away as we use them, right? Okay, so and I think I'll do the same thing with this. I am going to bring my cutter in. So I think I'll make this a little pocket because I think I'll have my journal right here. So let's, I just want to go to, get on the line there. And I just want to go to that shortest part there. Okay. So now I have a straight area. Get this back out of the way. Sorry, you can hear my chair rolling around there. 
Okay, so now let's do that punch thing on here, although I'll need to, oh, we have that covered already, so we're good, but I want to cover this part first, so let me set that there. I don't think I cut that too straight, but I can straighten that up at the end before we glue it down. All right, so let's pick out what we want to put on the front. And I have my papers here, so let's kind of go through that. That's cute. This is really pretty. but then we won't have a fairy on the front and I really want a fairy on the front. So let's leave that over there because I like that. I like the butterfly too. I like this. <laughs> Trouble is I like all the papers. Oh, okay, well, maybe we don't have to look too much farther. I can probably put her over. that whole thing in there. Let's see how far can I go to that seam, which is right there. So I can get a few of her. I like that. Okay, let's go with that because that, that has the fairy on it. Of course, we might want to put a pocket on the front, but I think let's, let's go with this for now because I think we can uh, dress that up enough to... Um, And I think I want to keep this whole thing so I can go over that seam so it won't come up. So let's just mark where we need to tear. move that. <laughs> okay, well, let's just start here. I'll get that squared up here in just a second. Let's use our ruler. I'm going to put this on straight edge there, get that lined up there, and okay, that would be on that line. And it goes one over, so let's just go one over, and that way we've got a straight. But that doesn't look straight. So I think I'm going to go there and there, and I'll roll that back over the edge. That should be enough. Maybe I'll go a little bit more. Make sure I keep my tree. Okay. So what I'm going to do is mark this here and this here.
so I can line that up on those. Okay, I've lost my gluing. All right, let me get a couple old book pages out here. I know I don't have to go all the way to the edge, but I didn't mark where. But I can kind of see the design through the paper, so. Um, this this way so I can see okay right there we're just gonna keep covering Funny that matches up with that. <laughs> okay, it's got it glued to my glass now. Should do it from the other side. Okay, let's do that. So I don't do that again. see why I did that but <laughs> and then we'll get this one I think you got it all figured out and then <laughs> oh I had this piece of lace on my um, table so I think that'll look really pretty on here all right so let's get this the rest of the way I have been good about oh there's my glue thing so I found that hey um okay so now let's flip this over 
put the glue on there real quick. Luckily, the art glitter glue does dry pretty fast, so. And then you want to get it. I'm going to have to let that dry for a minute here. I told you I have this on there to stick that on so I don't lose it. And where do I put it? About on the table. <laughs> So let's do this like we A ruler back. When you start getting that second piece of paper in there, it uh, does start to get harder to maneuver around. All right, so I got that. It didn't crease in too much. We're going to have a um, pocket here, so it, this really won't matter. Okay. And I see a little bit that came up there, so let's do that. Do it left handed. <laughs> All right, so now we got that, got that. So let's pick a page for the inside here. Put everything back together so we can see what we like here. I'm going to move this. Not putting any of my tools back. That gets frustrated. Let's see, that will go into the scrap box. All right, so we're going to put that there so we can see it. That's kind of cute, but if we put a pocket on top here, um, which we probably will, we won't see that. And again, doesn't matter because we're going to be covering stuff up, so. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Because if we put a pocket down below, this will stick out above the pocket. So the pocket can go down here. Let's do that. I like that. That's cute. <clears throat> okay. So let's put this back out this way. And I 
think I want to run this. Uh, past this a little bit uh, about well let's see what halfway would be for that so we just get that little design on there and then the rest can get tucked under which gives it a better um, okay and I want some of the blue to show so how about if we go there going to line that up on that line. I'm just using my grids on here, which is kind of nice. All right, so scrap box for you. Let's bring this back over. And my glue thing, put the ruler up. I do talk to myself all the time. that little part okay so I want to get glue clear out here because I'm going to fold that over the edge of the pocket and then I'll put my um, notch in there hopefully I do that before I think that's going to be cute because that'll show once we put the pocket on. Okay, so let me get this done. Here, let's do this this way this time so I can kind of mark where I don't need to glue, glue pass. If I glue past it a little bit, it's okay. But there we go. We can start there. These are really fun little books to do. They never come out the same twice, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get that where I want it there. Hopefully I've got it at the edge. <laughs> you can ink these edges up if you want. You don't have to. I'm gonna flip this over. Uh, let's do that. Okay, let's tear this off so we can see my little one for that. Not worry about folding it up. I can go in the glue box. You know, it's just like when you're um, building a box or anything. So you want to go to the center and then work your way out that way. It gives you less wrinkles. Okay. And this I'll probably just cut that off.
will be easier than trying to figure out what's what. That's really cute. I like that. Okay, so let's get the punch again. Now this time I can go in and I can see. Let's see, maybe if I turn it this way, you can see. So you can see where those guides are on each side, maybe. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna notch it up here because I want to put the, and I don't wanna go over the little I tried not to, but I think I did. I got into that. So now all we got to do is cover uh, this side in here. I might put a whole piece uh, that comes under there, but up to that. We'll see. I don't know if anything we have left will... Well, let's see what else we get. I want to make sure this gets covered because you'll see that from here and then to put your stuff in. Uh, and if I had this just a little bit crooked, which I think I do, all I got to do is hold that down. Okay, I like that. Then if we have a tag up above we can put that in or um, have a pocket here but I think I'll probably have a pocket here and a pocket here because we'll have a little journal that'll go in here okay so now let's do, do I want to cover that first so we can get that this paper here maybe we'll just do that because yeah I think I'll just put that on there get this all covered up so we don't have to worry about it and it doesn't show since we're here now this side's going to go over there so I want this whole piece and I can actually mark that on the bottom too so I don't have to worry about getting so much glue on it well I put it away even easier gives me a line there of where it is I see why I never put it away because it takes longer to put it away than it does just to throw it on the table and keep going <laughs> The struggles are real, real, my friends. The struggles are real. I don't think that went all the way across, but I didn't mark it, so we're gonna do it. If you push too hard on your glue, it uh, wishes out all over the place. So. Let's make sure I got that line. This piece in and over. This could 
kind of goes in behind the other piece, so we're going to let it do that. So let's put some glue here. Okay, see how it'll crease inward when, when the glue's not dry. <clears throat> and then I want to run the art glitter glue under here. I thought it was sticking up, but it's not. Just the uh, edge of that. Okay, so I got that this way right now. Let's glue this. Now I don't know where my pen is because I didn't put it in the Okay, so now we have our pocket. Well, that's great. I do have an old one over here. Maybe I could just pull that one off. Probably knocked it on the floor. But I don't see it. 
Oh, there it is under the paper. Okay, so we got that. We have our pocket covered, that's all done. This pocket is done. Still need to do that, so let's go to the back. I really like this paper here. Let's do that. with having a small desk area <laughs> makes it hard to uh... so I want to get this on a line so at least I get this squared up okay drop this down so this goes on a line here Hopefully we're not as crooked as we were before. But once you get all your stuff in there, you're never going to... It looks better. Still seems off a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Not to worry. So this one I've got covered on that side, so I'm not going to worry about going over so we don't get the um, same thing that happened before. I could just put a little strip of material there, a little piece of lace. I think that'll be really cute. So there, let's do like I did last time because that worked pretty good. I just ran my fingernail around along the edge of the uh, envelope there. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So that's the top, so I want to flip it this way. I 
Now you know why when you see people going crazy trying to figure out what they're doing when they're doing their videos, it uh, can go sideways real fast. <laughs> As you can tell. piece or not so let's do that again yep. let's pinch my finger in the lid <laughs> always something Okay, that's not right. It goes this way. And I can feel that my glue is dried. Let's give it another. Measure ten times. over. I don't know that that's enough room to flip over anything, but let's see what we can do. Get on this side because it's got a, <clears throat> the cork is farther over on this side so I can get a, that'll work and let's just do that up with art glitter glue see I found my <laughs> this pins bent so I did find my other one You're okay. You're okay. Let me let him out and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> One of the neighbors must have been walking their dog by. He doesn't bark once he goes out there, but he barks wanting to go see who it is, I guess. Well, obviously he must know who it is. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta cover the inside. So let's do that. Do I have another planer one? There we go, this just has plain 
ledger paper on it. Um, this one is going to be a pocket as well, so I don't have to worry about it being covered. Hmm. Sorry, he can open the door, but he can't close it. I don't know if you could hear me or not. He can open the door, but he can't close it. <laughs> and it's cold, so I don't want to let all the heat out. Okay, so I'm going to go up this way because I like my numbers. fingernail works better. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it uh, leaves a line. So I know at least where to put the glue. Let's move this off. This way, I go over that just a little bit, get the edges. Got the big glob again. I'm pushing too hard. I'm I'm trying to go faster than I normally do, I guess, and that's causing some havoc. Like I, I think I've told you this is my real first tutorial on how to do something like this. I've always just done walkthroughs after I've been <laughs> Now I know why. <laughs> okay. So let's get this started. Here. And there. Okay. That's good. And then the rest will just get first. Yeah, I don't know if I can tear that. I might have to cut it. All right, let's just cut that because we're going to go straight down. And I already um, Covered the edge of it. Go in the other direction. Sorry, obviously can't cut and talk at the same time. I'm finding out I can't uh, do many things. And <laughs> okay, that's probably like cutting bangs. I'm just making it from bad to worse. Okay, so we got that there. I didn't even make sure that I had that right side up. I don't think, but 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. Put this in my scrap box. That gave me all my numbers I can use somewhere. I like that. Yeah, so I thought this lace, you know, we get to, um, this is almost the exact size that I need. It's just a hair too big, but I thought, oh, that would look really cute um, on the journal there. Because she's got her flowing lacy thing there, so we'll put that over there. All right, so let's go over this one more time. And then, which way is this going to fold in? This way. Okay. Might as well get things going in the right direction. I don't, I don't know if that's done on purpose. It looks like they just put the cork on crooked, but this gives, gives me a thinner edge over here to roll my, um, my papers. Okay, so I can already see that creasing. see some of the glue coming up right there so let's put some art glitter glue that's the nice part about this tip I have to go all the way down it might look like that one part stuck. I'm just getting glue everywhere doing that. Okay, let's get that off of there. If you um, let it dry, you will have a heck of a time getting it off. But if you wipe it off while it's still wet, um, you don't really see it. Oh, I went really crooked there, so let's straighten this out. We don't really have too much to worry about there. So I'm going to go to the little notches. So I'm halfway in. that yeah I'm sorry I'm so bumbly at doing this it is what it is sometimes. <laughs> I guess that's probably why I haven't done it before because I knew it was going to be difficult. And I'm not sure I'm that good at it, but hey. <laughs> all right, so we got that. So now I think we're all... I think it's going to be cute. I love that. And then I wanted to put a pocket here because this will start our first journal in here and we have the pocket here. And we have some paper coming up and you just fix things as you go. When you notice them, you fix them, right? 
you know, just like anything else. this here let's go through these things because Sherry had some pockets um, that's cute We'll probably go th through and just get things um, ready. Those are cute. And then I can always print up some more paper. So I really like <clears throat> this paper here. And what will that look like underneath there sticking out? But we're going to have our lace probably over the top of that anyway. So no matter what we put on there, it is going to, um, you won't really see it. But the yellow does pick up with that. Huh? It's a nice thing about her kits. They do really go well together. So if we do this, we make it about a half inch bigger. So this is where I probably will measure. Oops, sorry. If I put my tools away, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> I'm not sure that I putting me my tools away will ever happen. But okay, so if we have um, four and an eight. All right. So, and how high do I want it? I want to keep my butterfly, which I've got plenty of room to. Keep the butterfly if I, let's just cut around this. I know how tall I can make my pocket. Okay, we'll go right to the bottom of that music note there. Put that in the scrap box. Okay, well that works, so we're just going to do that. Put this on a line so we can at least get it straightened up. I should have gone the other direction, but this won't matter, we'll just cut that. I would angle those corners anyway. Didn't put my pencil back in. So I'm just going to go to the inside here and the inside here. Okay. Get that on the 
square line so I can match up my Sure this works. Sorry for that noise. Okay, that'll be perfect because it'll just be right inside of everything. Okay, so then I want to just take this and go down just a hair. And this makes it so that you, um, you know, your pockets are, are reinforced. And let's put some glue on there. Excuse me, my stomach's growling. Okay, so now we got that. Got that. So if you go in a, you know, about a half an inch, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you want to miter your corners so things slip into your pockets really well. I'm sure you guys know all this. But there might be a newbie that watches. Sorry if you are. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so we got that. And then we'll just put a bead of glue down at the bottom because we don't need a... I guess it, but it just makes it nicer for things to go in than if you just uh, cut your paper and glue it down on three sides, which works too. That, that works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let's take our glue, and I do use dark glitter glue for this. And you want to get it going. Close to the edge. If you get it over, I'll show you what to do to make your pocket go in really well. Let's see, we can do this. Put a little glue under here, a little glue there. That'll hold everything down. Okay, and then you use your bone folder. And I try to go outward with my bone folder so it doesn't go up under the thing. But it just gives you a little bit more room here when you want to stick your stuff in, your, your tags and all that stuff. Um, then I'll just take my little, uh, my little ruler and just go in. I don't go all the way down because I don't want to pull that up. And it looks like here, I got some glue behind it. So there, just unstuck it. Okay. And again, if you feel like you need to put some on the edge, you just pull it down and put your art glitter glue under the edge. I think I got it. So, like if we wanted to put this little tag in there. And we'll decorate more on the end, but just so that you can see what we're trying to achieve. And this is just cut out of regular, or printed on regular copy paper, which I should have done these on uh, cardstock, but we can always back it. Okay, so there. 
We have a little, a little tchotchke in our, our first decoration. <laughs> okay, so we have that. That's cute. We got our pocket done. So now I think we're all good. Just our reinforcing um, areas at that. And we have this. Okay, so this video has probably been long enough, but we're all covered up now, so we'll start on putting our journals in and um, covering up whatever little areas need to be covered up. This won't be seen because there's going to be a journal here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there'll be a journal in here, so we will have to cover this up. The sewing's going to come through here, so after it's sewn up, I'll probably put a piece of lace or something here. And we're at the back. Back at the beginning. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me any comments that you um, that you uh, want to know any information about. Um, I'll put in all the links to the paper packs that I'm using in the description below. And um, yeah, so have a great day and be sure to like and subscribe. I'll put a video over here that you might be interested in. And um, we'll see you in the next couple of days uh, and we'll start our journaling. All right, go create something fun and we'll see you soon. Bye.